before I get started with this article, shout out to Almost Nine on Twitter for tagging me in this story. Now, as we all know, the the Tokyo Olympics is getting ready to come up in a couple of weeks. And we all know that the Olympics is like a big deal for various nations around the world. And swimming is one of their premier events. Diving, swimming, whatever the case may be. Anything dealing with aquatics. Next to gymnastics and track, of course, I think those are like the events that a lot of people really like to see. Because those are events that black people tend to dominate in. Yes, I'm throwing the swimming in there as well, because they always like to say the thing about black people not knowing how to swim and all that type of stuff. Listen, we are we defy odds no matter what. But lately or recently, some controversy has just come up with uh with a particular swim cap in, of if you will. And this is the one you see right here on this picture. Now, this person, now this is just the model. This isn't a person who they may not have swim, but they're just modeling the cap. But this cap is called the Soul Cap, and it's a black-owned business um, that designs swim caps for those people who have a particular hair texture, mainly those who have melanated hair texture, like, you know, they wear locks, froze, kinky, curly, thick type of coarse hair. Well, now... It has come out that this particular cap has been banned from the Tokyo Olympics as far as being used uh, to protect the uh, protect their hair while under the cap. They basically are saying you can't use this particular cap. You have to use the one that is provided to you, even though the one that's provided for them is not really conducive for their hair. So yet again, so first you had them saying that you can't wear any BLM apparel. Now you can't wear apparel or a cap on your head for swimming or diving, any type of aquatics, um, because it, it, if it's outside of the, I guess, their guidelines. You know what this reminds me of? All the different type of hair discriminatory videos I've done when it comes to schools, when they say, oh, it's against the dress code when black people wear their hair a certain type of way or when it comes to a job. But now it's taking it to another step further i truly believe it's because one this is a black owned company this is a black owned company i have to repeat that this is a black owned company who designed these caps imagine you are so excited to th- to think or to know that a, a brand that you came up with and design is going to be used for the 2020 they say 20 because they're basically making up for last year so they don't call it 2021 for the 2020 olympics and it's just like wow just be amazed that you'll be able to see some people wearing your design and like how amazing that'll be like that'll do wonders for your business only to find out that they're banning it now i don't know what their reasoning is but i bet you it's some bullshit so i'm gonna go ahead and get into this article and see what they're talking about Soul Cap, a black owned line of inclusive swimming caps, has been denied certification for use in competition swimming by the International Swimming, Feder- International swimming Federation. The brand, which provides comfortable swimming options for those with afro hair, locks, braids, and other kinds of vol- voluminous hair, natural hair, will not be allowed during the 2021 Olympic Games alongside lower level competitions held by the FINA, according to a report by the Metro UK. So they are calling it 2021. At first, I thought they were calling it 2020. The certification was denied approval on the grounds that, to their best knowledge, the athletes competing at the international events never used, neither required to use caps of such size and configuration, according to a press release from Soul Caps. Brand representatives also say the rejection also described the swim caps as unsuitable due to their shape, to, due to their shapes not following the natural form of the head. But see, that goes back to what I was saying. These individuals have a different... T- Why do I feel like I have to give a a, a lesson about this? Black people's hair is made differently than those who have more finer texture hair who where their hair can just squeeze right underneath those really small thin caps. Black people, they literally have to push their hair if they have hair. And this is probably mainly for the women who or even the guys who may have longer hair who have to push their hair into those small caps and then 
one, they'll probably have a problem trying to pull the cap over their ears and let it sit natural, like nest on their head without it probably popping off or ripping. And see, ironically, this lets you know right here that it's a lot more black swimmers competing this year. Because I don't remember seeing, you know, that well, now five years ago. Because back in 2016, I don't remember seeing that back in 2016. But this shows right here there are more black competitors swimming this year. I swear they'll do just about any damn thing. And they'll probably say, well, if you don't wear the cap, then you can't swim. Or if you wear this cap, you're going to be disqualified. See, it's the it's the fear of, of black people winning in an event that was not always dominated by them. And now you have some uh, black swimmers like literally like making the charts and possibly going for the gold. And they fear that. So they'll have to throw every type of stumbling block in the way to ensure that does not happen or to throw you off of your game. They are not slick. In response to FINA's denial, SoCat founders Michael Chapman and Tox Ahmed issued a response which can be found on the brand's Instagram. It reads as follows. We hope to further our work for diversity in swimming through having our cap certified for competition so swimmers at any level don't have to choose between the sport they love and their hair. We feel they all, there's always room for improvement, but there's only so much grassroots and small brands can do. We need the top to be receptive and to positive to positive change. For younger swimmers, feeling included and seeing yourself in a sport at a young age is crucial. FINA's recent dismissal could discourage many younger athletes from pursuing the sport as they progress through local, county, and national competitive swimming. This isn't just about the Olympics. This is also about the lower leagues of competition swimming. For swimmers at an age where feeling included is so pivotal, is, is so pivotal in the development and goals. We don't see this rejection as a setback, but rather as a chance to open up an important dialogue and make a different, bigger difference. The response and support around this issue has been phenomenal. We hope our story highlights the lack of diversity in aquatics and drives long-term change in sporting rules. Allure reached out to FINA and USA Swimming for comment. Neither responded before a time of publication. To learn more about Soul Caps and his mission, visit soulcap.com. And that's, and that's, you know, that that's just, as people who own that business and was probably looking forward to actually seeing this on the heads of people, because that's promotion. That's international promotion right there that could have been happening in their way. That literally got blocked. But, you know, now that the story is out there, more people will be able to buy the caps. And, you know, now, thankfully, it's the summertime. The pools are open. So I'm sure that now their business is going to be booming. More people are going to go and buy and support their product. But, man, they could have really used the, the free publicity. They would have got a lot of it from this. You know, imagine they'd be like, what? you know, if a, if a black swimmer was to win the competition, they just gave the, the people a shout out. Like what that could have done. It's imagine their cap being on the head of a person who just won an Olympic gold medal. That would have done wonders for their business and it got blocked because they of some bullshit. Listen, it's because, in my opinion, it's a black owned business and they're trying to throw these black swimmers off their game. Like I said, those little tiny caps that, you know, mostly the white swimmers wear, that not that's not conducive for their head or their hair. Because our hair texture is different. Like I said, you will have to literally push and shove your hair into that cap. And hope that it stays on. And then that's a lot of pressure on your head. Like, and you're swimming and using your whole body. What if you was to say it was so tight in your head that you got lightheaded and then like right there you passed out in the pool. And the worst happens. I don't want to think that way, but just throwing that scenario out there. This was all about comfort level while also making it look I guess you could say fashionable at the same time. But I hope that the owners of this company definitely get the push behind this that they actually need. Uh, you know, turn a controversy into something that could definitely be a positive. But I will definitely leave the link to their website down in the comments below. And, you know, it, if you can, go ahead and support the company. Even if you aren't a swimmer. Go ahead and support them anyway and give it to somebody as a gift to, you know, loves to swim. It could be given to a child, you know, given to another adult, whatever the case may be. And then, you know, go from there. 